Hello, what's going on guys? Gail here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video and today we are here for a full roster reveal. Now, of course, this is something we've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. We have only about 11 characters to go or at least that's what we thought initially or well, 10 characters to go when we saw the GT trailer. But of course, with recent leaks and everything, we know that there is going to be more than 180 characters in the game. Unfortunately, I couldn't not get get spoiled on that fact however i've been able to stay away from the rest of the leaks we exactly know which characters are coming but i actually don't know i've stayed away from all the leaks on twitter and stuff all social media platforms i've basically like muted everything and stayed away from everything so i'm going into this completely blind so i think without further ado we're here to react to this trailer so let's get into it of course if you guys going to enjoy the video subscribe to the channel all that sort of good stuff leave a like and let me know in the comments section down below what who are you guys going to be maining now that we know the full roster by the time you're watching this you already know the entire roster so who are you guys going to be maining let me know in the comments i'm curious to see what you guys have to say down below let's put, hit the play button and watch this trailer now i'm going into this like i said completely blind I, this already happened it already happened as a premiere i just got home so i've stayed away from everything so this is going to be very exciting for me personally um so furutani is here it is their final pre-launch announcement okay sounds about right i think that makes sense because if you're going to be doing a full roster reveal and they're talking about the game modes as well so yeah i think it's pretty good overall that they're making this the final one no need to show anymore let us enjoy the rest all right, so eight different characters for episode battle. We knew about this. We knew Goku was one of them for sure. I assume Vegeta, Gohan. Okay, they're naming it. Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Future Trunks, Frieza. Okay, Goku, Black, and Jiren. Frieza, I understand. I like the first five as well. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I like the first five as well. Jiren and Goku, Black, really? I, I get for the whole super aspect, but like, seriously? R really? Yeah, they even mentioned the episodes are only limited to tournament of power. Why, though? I think it should have been, in my opinion, uh, one could have been Cell, if you really want to do something where it goes all the way. They even mentioned Goku... Oh, actually, wait, one, one second. Sorry, I just noticed that. Is that Vegeta instead of Frieza for the final fight? <laughs> that, that, that's going to be very entertaining. Honestly, that's going to be very entertaining to see. Um... Okay, so you can obviously find hidden routes and stages as well. That's going to be fa fantastic to see, you know. I'm very excited for that. We will be streaming the game on day one, by the way, and doing all of this shit. Um, but I do think it would have been better for Cell, because I think we could have at least experienced Cell Saga 2 Tournament of Power, and we could have had some more what-ifs and stuff there. The other one that I would have really liked, and I know, again, glazing this character, even though he's done nothing and except die in a puddle... But future Gohan would have been, I think, amazing. It would have been very Shin Budokai-esque in a way, kind of, to bring him back as to, uh, and, you know, have him perform a miracle, basically, against this, uh, against 17 and 18, and potentially go further into the story. I think it would have been cool. I think it would have been cool. Um, but yeah, this custom game mode is pretty cool, by the way. I think... Uh, yeah, I mean, look at the amount of editing you can do. You can do camera, captions, uh, effects as well, aura highlight effects, it seems like. So, you can do... Wait, what? Oh, you can also do their poses, expressions. Oh my god, man. This is going to be so good. Honestly, I genuinely think, you know, people are going to cook up something special with this one. You know those Xenoverse modders and people who make the raid modes and stuff for like people like Rhyme and the Three Idiots and so on and so forth? Honestly... Uh, I genuinely think if they come over to this game and are able to cook something special with this, we're going to be in for a long haul when it comes to content on this game, honestly. And especially if it's accessible to all consoles. Now, of course, I think the added advantage PC will have at least is obviously mods. Unreal Engine modding will be super, super fun and easy to do, I think, for a lot of people. And so I think that's just going to make it even more exciting, I think, for the player base. Honestly, I genuinely think this is very promising. I, I can't wait. I cannot wait to see what people come up with. Of course, the first couple of weeks will be a bit slow. I definitely do think so. But of course, everybody's going to be focused on other parts of the game. You know, people will be doing episode battle. I will be doing episode battle, tournament, uh, ranked, and so on and so forth. 
I think by the time we're all done with that and stuff, I think hopefully by then we're going to be able to see people cooking up something special with these uh, custom battles effectively. I really do hope so. Um, I have faith. I have faith in my in, in the community. You know, we're the Dragon Ball community is mahusive, uh, for a lack of a better way of putting it. And so I've... I genuinely believe they will be able to cook up, cook up something, uh, something filthy, something derogatory, even uh, maybe maybe not derogatory. But, well, I mean, if you're if it's a freezer scene, then probably it'll be derogatory. But <laughs> you know, we'll have to wait and see. What you made will be able to be uploaded and viewed online for the whole world to play. Cannot wait for that. I hope it is at least accessible by all consoles. Like if it's made on PC, it should be accessible on PS5 and Xbox and so on and so forth as well. I hope at least that's kind of cross accessible all right time for the no final sets of the roster so we should be getting people like kaba god of destruction topo surely z gogeta's in the between in the in between sj4 gogeta and stuff yeah it's a super trailer first so we're gonna be getting that is that frost was that frost oh no that is frost there you go so yeah frost is in the game as well okay pretty cool so kaba frost and god of destruction topo we saw there so it's pretty cool all right, so yeah, they're going to go through the entirety of Super now. Okay, okay, I'm down for this. I'm down. All right, we, we, we needed a Super trailer as well. We had everything. We had GT. We had, you know, Saiyan Saga to Boo Saga. No way, Frieza Force Soldier. Full power energy wave. They had to add it in. They had to add it in. Oh, I can't believe it, man. Where's our pull, though? Where's our pull? I don't think we got a pull, right? No, we got Kui. I don't think we got a pull. Oh, no. Hey, Goku Black Saga. Honestly, I'm surprised they didn't add I add Mai or something as a an additional human character to play as. Maybe they might add that as like a girls pack in the future where we get launch, uh, lunch, uh, Bulma, uh, Chi Chi, stuff like that. Frost, Topo God of Destruction. Yeah, I think we might get a girls uh, DLC in the future for sure. Damn, Kava Super Saiyan 2, let's go. Ooh, that shot of 17, nice. You love to see it. Yeah, very nice, very nice. I like this. Man, I'm so excited, bro. Even with these characters, it's gonna be so exciting. Yes, Kid Goku. Thoroughly. Surely we got DKP as well. That is Piccolo, but... No way, they did not no DKP. Oh wait, Kid Goku goes in between bro, uh, Gogeta's. Oh. Looks like there's lots of powerful opponents still out there. Let's go, come on. Jack hey, Z Broly, let's go. You wanna die. Oh, but, okay, Kid Goku went in between. But I guess they could extend it still. I mean, based on the fact that they're doing Broly, surely they're not gonna ignore Super, Se Super Gogeta and stuff. Don't know when to die. Look at him go get it cooking. <laughs> Surely we get a family Kamehameha scene here. We've seen bros Kamehameha, but... No family Kamehameha, really? Wait, 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 wait. This is sick. We knew that there was going to be more characters, of course, like I said, thanks to the leaks and stuff. But, like, the way, he, the way Goku's preparing us is cool, man. The way they're doing this trailer. Man, if leaks weren't a thing, this trailer would have popped off so much. Metal Cooler. Android 13. Wait, there's no way they're not doing DKP, man. Okay, Super Android 13 as well. We'll take it. Garlic Jr., alright. Fair enough. Or Super Garlic Jr., not Base Garlic Jr. Okay, okay. No way. So they added Dr. Wheelo, but not Demon King Piccolo. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. Lord Slug, fair enough. I mean, if you're adding D Dr. Wheelo, surely you got to add Lord Slug. Come on now. <laughs> Turles, I assume, has to be next as well then. I think they want to save it for an OG DLC. 100%, man. Because I refuse to believe them doing everything but not adding DKP, man. That's crazy to me. Sometimes the disrespect OG Dragon Ball gets, in my opinion, is a bit nuts, man. In any game, to be honest. In any game, I feel. This extends to Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and Legends as well, by the way. Herudagarn, let's go. 
Wait, tape? Oh, I okay. I wasn't expecting tape on. I thought it was just gonna be the villains. So, so that means Super Gogeta has to be a thing, because there you go. Janemba. Fat Janemba as well. Okay, good, 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 good. We'd love to see it. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized, why are we here? <laughs> Where's the hell map, man? Oh, come on. Okay, that's also got to be in the DLC, surely. There has to be... We have to get uh, hell DLC, man. There's got to be so many maps that they need to add. But that, that was sick. Hey man, let's go. Adding them on the sides. We we you know what we needed? We needed leaks to not happen because this was like a Super Smash Bros. moment, man. Like it's like basically and everyone is here, man. 182 characters. You know how that how crazy that is, dog? That's insane. Goku scene and even characters from the movies will also be implemented in the main game as playable characters. That is sick, man. That's awesome. That is so awesome. I mean, yeah, it is It is what defined the sparking game, to be fair. In order to implement a single... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, a lot of people, you know, go off over, like, oh, the art style, some of the effects and stuff are rough and stuff. And I'm like, it's 180 plus characters. It's not like Fighters where it's only 24 characters and stuff, you know? Oh, the pre-order character. Who's it gonna be? It has to be somebody like Charlotte or... I was gonna say Dragon Ball Diamond Goku. Makes sense. It makes sense. Releasing on the same day. I assume with it only being base form, and they have not shown Super Saiyan and stuff. I think Super Saiyan and all will probably be in the DLC. That's part of the deluxe pack and the uh, Ultimate Edition. Which, by the way, we will be there for the Ultimate Edition. I've picked it up, so we will be playing it early as well. 20 plus playable characters as well from Superhero and Daima. I mean, like, you've got Beast Gohan, Gamma 1 and 2, of course, like they've shown already. The Super Saiyan Goku Mini and stuff. Then you have, of course, Cell Max. Pan, God, Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo, fuck, that's gonna be insane, man, that's what, that's 200 plus characters at least, and then of course you've got OG DLC and stuff like that, man, that's sick, also confirmation, three days early access, it'll start on the 7th at 3pm Pacific time and 8 8th uh, October at midnight EST, uh, European Standard Time, Central Europe Time, so for... UK for my time that'll be 11 p.m. on the 7th we will be live that evening we will be there um but yes thank you guys so much for watching this video and reaction with me um I love this man again I wish we weren't spoiled on the fact that there was going to be more characters than what we expected and along with that I wish you know people didn't get leaked but it would have been such a special thing to see this you know i know people were saying like oh what a surprise if they're adding these fan favorite characters and stuff but it's like still you know in a modern day when you know games are being shipped incomplete seeing a roster like this is so special so 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 special you know but uh let me know what you guys think i'm gonna let you guys uh you know stew up your comments in the comment section down below and uh, you know let me know your thoughts as well i'm quite curious to see what you guys have to say but uh cannot wait for this game man cannot wait we will be there for day one thank you guys so much for watching this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one until then take it easy everybody Bye bye